Do you know you are special to God? You are a special product to God. You are so special that the Lord can never and cannot use you to joke or to play. This is the foundation of our love for God and the foundation of our faith and our trust in God. When you realize that you are special to God, the problem that people are having is because they never understand how valuable they are to God. They never realize how special they are to God. When I begin to think about the way God sent Jesus to come into the world and die, I discover that man is special to God. When you remember that God sent his son to come and die for you, Jesus left his throne and came down and died for you. Oh, how special you are to God. How special you are. You are special to God. You understand that if a robber attack someone's house, invade someone's house, and say to the man, if you did not give me your million dollar or give me your five billion dollar you have right now, we shoot your son. The man will go inside immediately and gather the whole money and give the Arab in order to save the life of his son. But Jesus, God did not do like that. God decided to offer his son Jesus to die for us. Do you know the kind of love that God have for you by losing his only son, Jesus Christ? God demonstrated his love. The highest level of love God demonstrated to mankind is the death of Christ on the cross. And that is why the Bible said, for God so loved the world. You can now say, for God so loved me. For God so loved me. For God so loved you. You can say it. For God so loved me. He sent his only begotten son to die on the cross of Calvary for you and for me. The Bible makes us to understand about the love of God. The Bible said in the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 32. Romans chapter 8, verse 32. The Bible said, God who did not withhold his only begotten son, but give it him up to die for you. Will he not also through him give you all that life desire? So the level of God's love for your life is more than what you think about. If the Lord can allow his son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for you, will he not also through him give you material things? If God can allow his son Jesus Christ to die on the cross of Calvary, will he not give you money? Do you understand the, why many people are frustrated in their Christian life? It's because they never realize how lovely God is. They never realize how lovely God is. They never realize the level of value God placed on them. You are so valuable to God. You are so valuable to God. That is why Bible said that whosoever that touches you, whosoever that touches you, touch the apple of God's eyes because you are special to God. You are special to God. You are special to God. Maybe right now, you don't have money to pay some of your bills. It does not cancel the love God has for you. Maybe right now, you don't have the money to pay your rent. You are struggling. You are living in abject poverty. There is no cash in with you. Let me tell you, material things never measure the level of God's love for your life. Immediately you understand how special you are to God. It will give you confidence to approach God for blessing. Immediately you understand how special you are to God. It will make you to believe and to trust God. No matter what you are seeing right now, the Lord sent me through this platform to tell you that he loves you more than what you think about. He loves you. You are so valuable to God. So valuable to God. That you don't have money now does not reduce the love God has for you. You are a special product. You are a special product. Bible says that God has given his angels charge over you to carry you, to carry you because you are, you are a pampered child in the hand of God. You are a special child in the hand of God. 
to carry you so that you, there will be no evil happening to you so that no evil will come to you so that no evil will happen to you you are special you are special to god discover the love of god for your life discover how valuable you are to god discover how valuable you are to god i know that sometimes we see challenges of life sometimes we see a lot of troubles in life sometimes we see a lot of challenges in life a lot of sorrow a lot of a lot of problems sometimes those things want to convince you that god don't love you when you are experiencing challenges as a child of God, experiencing challenges, experiencing trial, you pray, your prayer has not been answered. You do this, there is problem here, there is problem here, there is a lot of challenges here. You look around you, there is no means of solving those problems. Satan wants to use those things to try to convince you that God don't love you. But I want to tell you that the Bible said that even when you pass through the fire, he will be with you. When you pass through the water, he will be with you. Even in that situation you are, God is with you because of his love. The Bible makes us to understand that in your affliction, I was also afflicted. So whatsoever that is happening to you right now, whatsoever evil that you are experiencing now, God is aware of those things. And that is why God will not keep quiet and watch you die in that condition. That is why God will not keep quiet and watch you die in problem. That is why God will not keep quiet and watch your enemy disgracing you and disturbing your life. That is why God will not keep quiet and watch Satan destroying your destiny. Because of the love of God for your life, God will arise. The love God has for you will trigger him to rise up. God is going to rise up in your situation. God is risen up already in your life, in your condition. God is going to to do something new in your life he's going to do something new in your life let me give you this example imagine a lion child a son of lion that is cub, the little cub. imagine bulldog very big bulldog will come and attack little cub and carry the, the child of the lion and the lion was there the mother was there the father was there what will happen to that what will happen to that bulldog? The lion will rush after that bulldog and crush the bulldog and tear that bulldog and use the flesh to feed his son. Use the flesh to feed her son. The lion will tear the bulldog and use it to feed the child. That is what God will do for you. That is what God will do to your enemies. That is what God will do to every problem. That is what God will do to every situation. That is what God will do to every condition. That is what God will do for you. God is going to rise up. God is rising up already right now. You may not be able to see it with your naked eye. You may not be able to understand it. You may not be able to understand it. But let me tell you, child of God, God is rising up. God will not keep quiet. He will not keep quiet. His love for your life is more than what you think. God loves you more than you love yourself. You are so special to God. So special. You are so special to God. The man started the journey of faith. Immediately he realized the love of God for his life. The journey of faith begins immediately. Man realized the love of God for his life. The love of God for his life. The love of God for her condition. When you are poor, what is God saying? God is saying, I will prosper you. You will become so wealthy. When you are broke, what is the Lord saying? Though your poverty is going to end. When you are in trouble, what the Lord is saying? The Lord is saying that his blessing is coming on your way. Because his love cannot watch him keep quiet like this. Satan destroying your life. Satan controlling the, your destiny. Satan frustrating your life. Satan destroying your destiny. And God will just keep quiet like this. From today, begin to pray with understanding of love of God for your life. 
when you are in need, when you are in trouble, you will come before the throne of grace. You know you have come before the throne of Father that so much love you. You have come before the throne of Father that so much care about you. You have come before the throne of Father that is so much cherish you. You have come before the throne of Father that so much put value on you. You have come before the presence of God that so much honor and love you. You have come before the presence of God that is jealous. His love is a jealous God over your life. He will not allow disease to destroy your body. He will not allow poverty to reshed your destiny. He will not allow the enemies to win the battles in your life. He will not allow what people are saying to determine your future. That is why I can tell you that the Lord is going to do something beyond what you think or imagine. The Bible said in the book of Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20, Unto God who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we ask and think and ever imagine through his power that is at work in us. And the Bible said in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8 that the Lord is able to make all grace to abound towards you. That in everything that you will always have sufficient without lacking anything so that you can abound unto every good works. That is the thought of God. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. I know the thought I have for you, thought of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Oh, these three verses of the scripture, I decree that it will begin to work in your life. It will begin to work in your life. Comfort yourself. Stop allowing Satan bring more sorrow to your life. Come up to understand how lovely God is. How will God wash you? die in this situation how can you tell me that the lord will wash you dying of hunger god will keep quiet you are in trouble god will just keep quiet washing you like this how can you tell me that you are sick and the lord will keep quiet over your sickness no his law will not allow him to keep quiet and from today i stretch forth my hands to pray for you in the name that is above every other name from today, you will begin to experience divine turnaround in your life. You will begin to experience divine turnaround in your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, the love of God for your life will never allow God to rest until he do something wonderful in your life. God will never rest according to scripture. He said, give God no rest. I begin to pray that God will never rest until he has established you financially, materially, spiritually. I stretch forth my hands to pray for you. Your business is taking a new shape in Jesus' name. Your finance is coming back to life in Jesus' name. Your marriage is experiencing the peace of God in Jesus' name. Oh, you will never fail. Oh, you will never regret it in the name of Jesus Christ. Child of God, you are blessed in the morning. You are blessed in the afternoon. You are blessed in the night. You are prosper day and night. The favor of God will speak over your life. The blessings of God will speak over your life. The blessings, the mercy, the anointing will shower upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't forget, God so much put value on you. Remember, you are special to God. Join me in distributing this word of God. Share this word of God. Share it, forward it to all your contacts. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel. And follow me on my Facebook page. At Anthony Ministry TV. May the peace of God and the God of peace be with you. In Jesus name. Amen.